Hey guys and welcome back to Karaxu's School of Hard Blocks. Today we'll be focusing on interior and roof design, so something to look up at, something to see on the inside. Karaxu is open about the fact that he doesn't really enjoy doing interior stuff, he's not the best at it, he prefers to do outside stuff like big builds, and that's fair enough. Um, I only have like a simple plan for what needs to be inside of this Viking longhouse. It's pretty simple, so you'll see that soon. And uh, I mean, look at that, like before and after again, just little things. The massive depth change, it's just mental, it's just mental, and I'm really happy with how it's going. So uh, without any more guff, start the show. I guess, do I really want to do the inside before I do the outside? Because I'm like, I'm already like, I'm think, I'm looking at it and I'm like, right, the table's going to go there and the, that's going to go there and the frown's going to go there. But I think I should probably like finish the outside first, maybe. Well, um, that's like a whole different thing. Like you can build from the inside out and you can build from the outside in. It just depends on what you're doing. I did, I usually do from the outside in. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm thinking. That's but that work. you can uh, give me like little space inside the build what I think you should do is build more inside out really? ok yeah I think you should do the interior yeah so that I have space if I like end up giving myself out. too little space I might fuck that up I guess when you build like when you build the outside before you do the things on the inside you've already thought about the like spacing and stuff when you're doing it and being that I don't really do this kind of thing regularly I'm probably gonna fuck that up <laughs> so well, I usually, we usually actually do not think about the interior too much. We we try to forget it's even there. Yeah, and then like, it's just a later thing. Is, well, what, what are those? Oh yeah, they're this annoying thing. It just de it depends. Of. It depends on whether it's important to the build, I guess. Yeah, like okay. if we have, uh, I, I don't know, like an altar or something, then we usually plan it out. Yeah. If there's a main thing on the inside, but otherwise it's just standard procedure. Alright, so what we were just discussing there is the actual interior design and the thought process. Now he was telling me about what Sun Fury and himself usually does, like the idea of just if there's something big on the inside that's kind of crucial to the build, then they build around it. Like maybe they'll do the interior first, or if they're building outside before they do interior, it'll suit, they'll give space, they'll think about the dimensions and shapes that's going to be needed for that thing that's inside the building so that they have the space to do that once the outside's done. Otherwise, they'll run out of space and it'll be a bit too cramped on the inside, might not look good. So sometimes it's better to do interior first, sometimes it's better to do exterior first. Honestly, it's, I think it, what what's crucial to it is that you just need to do what feels easier and best for you. Personally, in this case, I do the interior first because I know exactly what's going to be on the inside and I, don't, I just want to mess around and see what's like there and you know get a feel for what I want on the inside. Then once I think it looks good, then I can build the exterior, which we'll be focusing on very soon. So let's uh, actually look at some world commands, world edit commands. Um, Helping me with building this table and such. Okay, yeah, we'll just do. We'll just keep it basic for this episode, I guess. Well, I say basic. What we've already done is blown my mind. <laughs> this episode, like, you might want to split it, then you have a lot of episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. I say this episode, guys. We've, we're, we're gonna. It's probably gonna. I feel like we're already on episode three or four right now. Bloody hell. <laughs> uh, it's going well though. I mean, I've I've definitely already learned a lot. I I feel like the next time we're on quick build, it's gonna be a whole new thing. I can't wait to. Yeah. Say goodbye to your title. Oh yeah. <laughs> like Evans is usually a really good builder, but now I feel like I've got a chance against him when we go in. Yeah, he's he's really good actually. He's like uh, in terms of quickly building things, I think is without let's say that he didn't really practice it. He's quite good at it naturally. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. All like I wonder, has Rage like really practiced like his quick building? No, he's just been doing it for a year. Like, for when he does Super Battle Home Forever, obviously he, like, comes up with a build and then spends his time making that build and, like, for getting it down to the 20 minutes as fast as as fast as he can, being able to build it in 20 minutes, he'll just keep building it over and over and over. But never really, like, practicing styles, I guess. Okay. Like, I, I wonder how he got the idea, like, quick build. Like, just... It just came to him one day. That was, that was literally it. He just he just gave it a, gave it a try, and here he is, mental. Yeah, really, is such a big thing. Uh, well, there are of course other build battles, but 
Well, build is one of the well, most known, I guess. Well, honestly, like, there's a lot out there. Like, I'm not going to say any names, but, like, blatantly copied, is all I can say. Um, yeah, obviously, all good things usually get copied. It's such a shame. I mean, though. look at Minecraft. Even Minecraft gets so... Yeah, so many just, like, copied versions of it. Which is actually quite sad. Like. Yeah, there's not much you can do about it, though. Yeah. But I mean, ultimately, if you get like people copying you, and then you see, oh look, they're doing something in their show that I've not done. That's kind of an idea, but you know they've stolen it from me. So fuck them. It's in my show now, and it improves your show. So it's not a big deal, in some yeah, exactly. cases. Yeah, but still copying or pretending yeah. is that. It's like... oh, that reminds me, I actually found someone random on the internet. I don't even know where. Pretending to be me on some kind of site I have what? never heard uh, about. Oh, uh, that's brilliant. Like, someone who made, like, some kind of song. And song. they were like, you face Kirexu. And I was like... Oh, God. What? That's amazing. What? That's amazing. How is that even possible? <laughs> well, it just happens. It just happens. Uh, I don't really you guys that. must have had such things happen. Oh, we have... Oh, we've oh. had a lot of stuff now at this point. It's just ridiculous. People, humans, they are, they are weird sometimes. Alright, so we want this table that I've decided that I'm going to have that's going to be long. Uh, I'm using brown carpet because it looks good for a table. I also was thinking about pressure plates, but it just it didn't look right. Um, and Crack actually gave me the idea for the carpets, and it just I thought it looked pretty good. Um, now, the problem is, underneath, we've got this massive fucking truck ton of uh, fences that are blatantly fences. They don't look, it doesn't look really like a long table. Thankfully, there's something that you can do in World Edit to fix that. Um, I'm also doing this throne here, trying to mess with it, see how it wants to like look as you've been seeing. And uh, I also need to give it some, what's the word, uh, chairs so that people can sit at the actual table. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just rearranging them, making them have correct spacing, giving them arms with signs. I actually have been told that uh, item frames looks good, so I'm going to try that next time on any chair that I decide to make. Um, it might look better than a actual uh, sign on the side, but I've not actually tried it. So anyway, hopefully Kiraxu can help us with this table problem that uh, is quite bad. Um, by the way, I've done the interior, I think that's just fine for what I've done, I don't need to go anything crazy. Now what I need to work out how to do is the roof and the walls. So I guess it'd be a thick wood wall is usually how it is leading up to the roof and then the roof, I, I, I maybe I should like go on Google or something and have a look at Nordic Designs. Um, you can go on Google, because but, uh, I will fix the wooden fences. Yeah. Here the thing where there's just a lot of fences going on there. Shall I uh, teach you how to do it? Uh, yeah, if you explain it, yeah. Okay, so um, if you take out your wooden axe and you will select everything but the, the ends, so basically three here and the three here, you do not select. Okay. All others and only the, the wooden fences you select. Okay. So do you want me to do that now? Yeah. Okay, so there's that one, and then that one. Okay. Okay, so then you type slash slash mm -hmm. replace yep. space, Yep. Uh, I believe 36. 36. There. Wow, what, what is that? You can do the same with uh, the end blocks here. Oh yeah, the ones in the center, ones yeah. here, and then another one, and then just the slash slash. Yeah, that's slash. simple enough. What, what is 36? Is it just air? Uh, 36 is actually a very useful block. It's an invisible block because it's like an extended piston, but it doesn't render. Okay, wow, that's really good. Whoops. Oh, you had one too much, Whoops. so you can do a slash slash undo. Oh, God. Yeah, that happens. You can just place it back. Mm, yeah, I got it. Now, of course, if you would destroy any block, the, the thing gets deleted. Yeah, so I have to be very careful with that. It has to be complete when I do that. Yeah. Okay. Of course, this is not something you can really do in a quick build. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> but, you know, it's just good to have uh, if I end up doing this kind of thing. But that looks so much better, yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. Okay, right, so what I want to do is thick 
wood walls, which is obviously a problem because those are floating, so oh, I'm going to have to get that. Actually, you do not really need to do big wood walls. Really? Uh, I think you can get away. Like, Actually, that's the, the type of Nordic that I know. Uh, <laughs> don't hold me to it being actually Nordic. Oh, well, it looks good. Maybe that's it's a little bit more Gothicness. But... Whatever looks good, I mean. So what 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 are you thinking? This of? shape that you see here. Oh yeah, yeah, the long shape hole. You will probably use. you could use that at the sides here. Right. Like repeating that. Oh shape. yeah, getting it around the entire thing. Yeah, I see. Yeah, and then you can make those into being windows. Not the computer, of course, but. Uh... <laughs> Just Microsoft Windows all around the uh, building. Boom. What? Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. I mean, to... we all know your redstone skills, Hollow. So oh, it's pretty. Yeah, my red, my redstone skills have got to be some of the best. Like I am Seth Bling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Like you, yeah, actually, I, didn't you really teach him? Actually? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My how-to videos uh, hooked him up. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like all those filters after that, like in your inspiration. Yeah, that was all me. Is that right? Yes it is. Alright, so now we've actually got the interior done and finished to a nice standard using that really cool world edit. I think the number's 36. It's like an invisible block. Really, really useful. I cannot tell you, but um, like Karakshu said, if you tap it or touch it in any way once you've done that thing to the block, it will come back, so you've got to be careful and all that. But now, we need to focus on the roof. So, the walls of the building. Not the actual ceiling roof, but the actual walls, the structure, something to hold the roof up. Now, Correction comes over and gives us this nice archway, and I just replicate it and kind of take from that and then add my own blocks and give it like a, well, a feel so it's not empty on the inside. So it's not hollow, yeah, yeah. So um, he comes over and gives me some advice and tips and also adds to the actual main centerpiece of the entrance that looks really, really, really good. I would actually change the wood on some parts. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Don't change the wood. Um... I was thinking windows, but then again, Vikings didn't really have glass. Or, or I might be wrong. Uh, well, I usually used glass. Yeah, well, you fuck it. Also, if it looks use good. like um, fences. F oh yeah, fences. I've not used any. Um, let's have but a look. wait, they didn't have glass. Whoa, that must have been hella cold. Yep. Yep. Damn. That's probably why they drank so much. <laughs> If I put the round... I forget they were cold. Yeah. Vikings. Felt like I was drinking with Vikings with the Swedish guys from Paradox. They oh. they, they drink constantly. We were we we're in this... The first night, we were like making friends with people and we were talking to this developer and he was on our table. And we're in this restaurant and he'd be drinking wine. He drank it quite quick. Quite It was quite like strong white wine. And he was drinking it fairly quickly. But... He never got half a class down before like a waiter would just appear and refill it. And I have no idea how much that man drunk. But it was much more than me. And he, it, he I felt more drunk than him. I'm sure, well, he didn't look it. They can handle their alcohol. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, know. I know. Like, um, Janikin, the leader of Son of Fury. Uh, yeah, I'm not the leader for those of you. Mental. <laughs> uh, he is from Sweden too, I believe. And, uh, they well, can drink like champs. They, they really like he has sort of an issue actually. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh god! He's known for an inside of Sun Fury. Ah, fair enough. Then again, I didn't really hear him drink late, lately, so. Well, Maybe. I didn't drink for years. Only recently, and I'm a massive lightweight man. So it's so bad, and I'm. Yeah, I'm happy I don't about drink it. either. So. I'm happy about it because you know. If I ever do drink, I can get drunk pretty quick, and it's cheap. <laughs> right. Um. Okay. So I really like the like the wall. Now, I don't know how to begin with the actual ceiling roof thing. Yeah, that's hard. But I think the wall still needs something. Oh yeah. Just. Oh, I well, I could continue with this jungle wood like theme up the side of it. Yeah, you should. If you ask me, uh, either well, you could probably use an, an extra layer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that already looks a lot better. 
How the hell am I gonna? Yeah, like that. And then uh, a hull slap or so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. That makes it look better. But what's gonna go on this corner? I guess a fence. Yeah, or a half slab. A half slab. Uh, is there a jungle half slab? Yep. Slab. Jungle. Oh wow, there is. Sweet. Mental. Oh yeah, there you go. There, yeah, that's so much better. Yeah, because it just looks like back to that first layer over here. It's you, you, comparing it. It's like that side we got this style, the dimensions. Um, on the bottom side of my building and then I built this and it just looks like the first stage again so if I change that and give it a bit more detail it'll look much better. Alright so Kareksu actually gave me a very very useful thing right there which was the depth, the skeleton. I had actually done this second wall like we talked about and completely forgot, completely forgot to do the actual second layer. Done the first layer which is the skeleton, you know, the, the structure, the bone of the build. But then I never added, the, well look at it, I mean I'm adding these jungle um, like stairs right now. And then also this pattern that Kareksu has given me as an idea. And it just looks 10,000 times better when I'm looking at it right now and it's not even finished without all the stairs and stuff it just looks better with that pattern and then giving it this depth and a little bit more feel and like a bit more ruggedness uh, it just looks so much better and while I'm doing this actually as you can see there on the right Karaksu actually built this main centerpiece that I was talking about earlier on the center that just looks fucking phenomenal and I mean look at it whoa whoa hang on a sec I just looked up at the front of my building and I'm just like where the hell did that come from <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. I mean, nice. Like, uh, that sh that could be, like, doesn't have to be, but uh, could I like be it. a base for you. Yeah, and then that's just pulled along. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. That looks great. Yeah. Cool. Although I would uh, not do the middle yet, I would, like, copy this over at the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would uh, use the. Use the force. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good at that. I'm doing a what? series all about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that or you do a social outburst. Oh yeah, social outburst. I fucking love doing social outbursts. They're fun. <laughs> uh, that was so good. Like you yeah. know, that was just genius. The funny. That's what it's, uh, I can't remember where I first got that from. Oh yeah, I first got social outbursts as the actual thing um, from. Uh, we're playing Killing Floor, um, which is a, just a Steam game where you just kill zombies essentially wave after wave and it's just fun. But um, I think I like dropped a grenade on myself, killed like, oh no, 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 it was like you kill like 30 zombies within like 60 seconds and I got an achievement called Social Outburst. And uh, I think it's because I threw one grenade. And um, ever since then, it's just fun to say. Alright guys, so that actually covers this episode. We talked about interior, whether you should do interior before exterior, how it is mostly influenced on what you're building, you as a person, what you prefer, and what suits the build. So if you've got the space and it doesn't matter, do it later, or whether you want to do it first because you want it, it doesn't really matter as long as the build looks good at the end of the day and you're happy with what you've done. We also touched on walls and remembering to do that whole depth, the different stages of a build. I completely forgot when I finished building the walls to add that depth, these jungle wood stairs on the side that you're seeing, and also the nice little wood pattern that goes with the stairway that leads up into the actual build. So it all comes together as a unison and makes sense, it's in a theme, then you know it looks the way it does, it looks great. So now that we're actually very very close to finishing, I'd say we've got the next episode and then we should have finished this Viking Longhouse. From then on it'll be great because the next episodes that come out, hopefully, will sort out Karaxi's problem. So he actually sounds fine. Now if you go to his channel, his channel is linked in the description of every one of these videos. He does really good content guys, he's funny, he's interesting, and he's very very talented. He does artwork along with building, and the two things kind of make sense together because it's like architecture and drawing and just like making things in unison and the way things fit together is really really cool and I, I mean I really enjoy it. So if you want to go check out his channel, please do so, he's really 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 good guy. Um, Right, so the next things that we're going to be doing on the next episodes are choosing something else to build, I assume, and doing some more world editing, but more like actual terraforming of the world, if you know what I mean. So using more world editing tips, a bit more in-depth on 
the, the things you can actually do with World Edit and seeing what we're going to build next, choosing something else to build. From then on, hopefully we'll be able to make it so Karaksu sounds much better, like I say, um, he doesn't sound like he's in a fishbowl as a person, it was just his microphone. We're going to mess with some sayings, and if not, ultimately he can record himself and send that audio to me. So the actual quality of the show is going to go way up, and I can't wait for that. And we're also planning some other things. So I hope you look forward to the future episodes. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a good day.